Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfare.com. Today's topic of our discussion is life cycle of cellular slime molds within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. In the last video, we have given the life cycle of plasmodial slime mold. So let's begin with the major difference between plasmodial slime mold and cellular slime mold. In the case of cellular slime mold, it is not a plasmodium. Here you can see individual solitary cell or amoeboid cell can move around and feed ankle food particles. Second major difference is in cellular slime mold this nuclei is haploid whereas in the case of plasmodial slime mold the nuclei is diploid. Now moving into the life cycle we have divided this into different steps for better understanding. Step 1. Individual amoeboid solitary cell that moves around and feeds and divides mitotically. This is the normal cell. The most common method of reproduction is asexual reproduction. Classical example of cellular slime mold is dictyostelium. In step 2, when there is a food shortage or scarcity, certain chemicals are secreted by these amoeboid cells that cause the cells to group together, forming a pseudoplasmodium. This is called as pseudoplasmodium or false plasmodium as this amoeboid cells has not lose its individuality. In step 3, this colony, this pseudoplasmodium moves around and engulfing food particles including microorganisms like bacteria. In step 4, these starts forming fruiting bodies. This fruiting body has having a stalk and a head. Many nucleus, haploid nucleus moves to this head region, later transforms into spores. In step 5, resistant spores are released by the breakage of this fruiting wall of the fruiting bodies. These are highly resistant spores that can withstand unfavorable condition. Step 6, on return of favorable condition, these spores germinate, again forming amoeboid cell, thus completing the life cycle. So this is the most common method of reproduction in cellular slime mold and it is an asexual reproduction. Now moving into the second part that is the sexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction two amoeboid cells just behaves as gametes and fuse to form a diploid zygote. So this is the only diploid stage in cellular slime mold's life cycle. This diploid zygote undergoes meiosis forming haploid amoeboid cells again, thus completing the life cycle. Hope you understand the life cycle of cellular slime molds. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforu.com.